Hey everybody, Matt Jackson here at Local Motors. As I'm sure a lot of you are probably aware, we do a lot of rapid prototyping around here as we're into you know concept vehicles and coming up with new components for different cars and such. So as such, we really love our Replicator 2 from MakerBot. This little baby's been uh, doing us proud, but over the last couple weeks we've been having some issues and with the extruder and uh, you know a lot of people in the MakerBot community have been having the same issues with this particular uh, extruder model and that's kind of tough for us right now because we've started using the MakerBot for actual production parts for some co cosmetic parts on the Rally Fighter so it's pretty crucial that we we keep this thing running so uh, in the last couple days we found a fix for some of the issues that people have been having so I'd like to share that with you guys and so to start I really need to explain a little bit about how the extruder works and the theory behind it. So if you look at this sketch right here, this illustration kind of is a rudimentary sketch of what the original MakerBot extruder looks like. This is the front face of a stepper motor and this pulley here is what forces the filament down into a heater block that sits underneath it. And in the original MakerBot design there is a um, grub screw that pushes on a Delrin plunger that pushes the plastic filament into the pulley, which provides the needed force so that this pulley can get enough traction to force the filament down. So uh, that design's all right, but uh, people realized over time that when you get filament from different manufacturers, you get varying um, varying diameters of filament. The filament diameter actually changes as it comes off the spool. So uh, to help fix this problem, um, the MakerBot community actually came together and came up with this design here, which I'll, uh, as I take apart the extruder here in a little bit, I'll show you. But they actually have a lever arm that has a spring that forces a ball bearing into the filament, forcing it into the plunger, or excuse me, into the pulley. So, whereas the plunger design was a constant position, this actually provides a constant pressure so that as the filament diameter changes, it continues to apply the same amount of pressure and therefore you get the same amount of force out of this pulley. So, um, what we found was that with both of these solutions, uh, as you either tighten the scrub screw as it, the Delrin plunger wears out, or with this where you have a constant pressure being applied to this pulley, both of those solutions um, also increase the amount of force on the pulley itself and then on the shaft. So uh, kind of in my frustration with trying to figure out what was going on, and taking this thing apart several times, I found that the set screw on the pulley was not on the flat part of the, uh, the shaft. So if you look at the side view here of what the stepper motor looks like. You have the shaft coming out and the pulley sits on here. Got a little set screw. And the set screw needs to go on a flat spot on a shaft. But I noticed that it was rotated off a little bit like it had slipped. So I went and I removed the uh, set screw and pulled the whole pulley off and found that the flat spot on the shaft didn't go far enough down to have this pulley, uh, to have the set screw touch the flat. The flat spot ends about right here. I don't know if this is something that came out of uh, a particular batch of motors that MakerBot got from their manufacturer or, or what, but because this set screw did not touch the flat spot, you uh, would start to slip. And we actually found markings on the shaft where the set screw had been actually grooving the shaft. So I ground this down so that we had a flat spot all the way down to the base of the uh, shaft retightened it and it's been working beautifully. It's been printing absolutely wonderfully for the last 10 or so hours of printing. 